okay uh, good afternoon all uh, i welcome you all for uh, today's session in today's session we are going to discuss uh, transfer molding process and uh, in this we are going to already we have discussed the basic principle working principle of the transfer molding process but in this chapter we are going to discuss the some this related to the uh, design of the uh, transfer uh, the mold okay which mold we are going to use in this transfer molding process design of that mold and along with that we are going to discuss uh, some brief classification of transfer molding processes okay brief classification then uh, main parts of the transfer mold then classification of the uh, molding process transfer molding process and after that uh, classification we will discuss uh, how the automations can be uh, employed in this transfer molding process and along with the uh, automation part uh, in this part already i have discussed uh, but just i will take a review and uh, i will take the brief uh, discussion we will conduct a brief discussion related to the uh, spot transfer molding and uh, plunger transfer molding okay and automation okay now i will start this session uh, we will start it uh, with the basic concept of the transfer molding process okay now this is the transfer molding process uh, this will go through the points uh, which i mentioned in this slide okay uh, now now this uh, transfer molding process uh, this is basically used for thermosetting material now in a previous lecture we have studied the compression molding process then we have discussed the mold design uh, used in the uh, compression molding with that compression molding process has certain disadvantages like uh, we cannot uh, manufacture the complicated shapes or intricate designs and we cannot able to manufacture the uh, a thick components in the compression molding process and wastage of the material is more or whichever scrap is produced you cannot recycle it uh, do, to overcome these disadvantages uh, some changes are done in the compression molding process and uh, this transfer molding process uh, has uh, is invented okay or discovered you can say that and then in this transfer molding process now here Uh, i will explain it with the help of uh, in this uh, basic working principle diagram now here you can see that um, or uh, before explaining okay first i will explain it and after this we will go to the mold design first i will explain the process now here uh, this diagram basically consists of um, i will first explain the constructional detail this is the plunger okay here you can see that this is the plunger and this is the transfer pot okay he this one is the transfer pot or it is also known as the shooting cylinder uh, then this is the charge or you can say that preheated raw material then this is the grating system here sprue arrangement is shown and this is the mold cavity or our actual pot and these are the ejector pins then this uh, you can see that here circular holes are present Uh, yeah, through this circular hole uh, these uh, we are going to provide the our heating source okay this will act as a, our heating source now how this process is conducted in the initial stage the preheated charge is taken or it is also known as the preform that preform is placed in this uh, transfer pot or shooting cylinder okay whichever raw material is there it is preheated in the temperature range uh, that temperature range is uh, 150 to 175 degrees celsius here it is mentioned and it is uh, taken that preheated raw material is taken in this uh, transfer pot or shooting cylinder it is termed as the charge or it is also known as the p form uh, then after that the pressure is applied with the help of this plunger okay plunger or you can say that this press with the help of that we are applying the pressure then what will happen after when we are applying this pressure this mold is in closed condition and due to this uh, temperature okay 
and this uh, mold is also heated due to the temperature and due to this pressure what will happen this charge uh, will get transformed from solid phase to the uh, liquid phase or semi solid phase and due to this press it will get transferred to this gating system this gating system uh, it may consist of sprue uh, or you can uh, use the uh, sprue gate and runner combination or you can only use sprue or sometimes you can uh, go for gate and runner arrangement also so through that uh, gating system it is transferred uh, into the mold cavity okay it is transferred to the into the mold cavity this is uh, our diagram in the next stage and we are holding here okay that mold will remain in the closed position only okay and there uh, some time is provided uh, and that uh, you can say that this is termed as the curing time during this curing time the thermosetting plastic material uh, it will get solidified okay it will get solidified or it will acquire the required shape and size as provided in the mold cavity and uh, after providing the sufficient curing time now the mold is open mold is open in the next stage and that manufactured or molded part this is the molded part and it is ejected with the help of this ejector pins okay and uh, in the end we will get our molded part or final finished product okay in this, uh, so in this way and uh, this transfer molding process is conducted okay uh, i will explain the stages in the uh, first stage preheated charge uh, or you can say that preheated raw material preheating temperature will be in the range 150 to 175 degrees celsius and that charge is taken in this transfer pot or shooting cylinder this is our first stage in the second stage we are applying the pressure with the help of this press or plunger and this mold is closed and uh, simultaneously due to the heating is provided now this heating you can uh, go with uh, with the help of electric cartridge or you can go for uh, you can use oil or steam also with help of that the mold is heated and due to that heat as well as the pressure due to this plunger that uh, material will get transformed from solid to the liquid or semi solid phase and it will get transferred through this gating system which may consist of sprue or it may consist of a gate and runner arrangement and uh, in the next stage it will get transferred in this mold cavity then after sufficient curing time now in the next stage this mold is open and uh, the molded part is ejected from this mold cavity with the help of this ejector pins okay this is the transfer molding process this transfer molding process uh, you can use uh, number of cavities means uh, multi cavity transfer molding can also be performed okay here in this diagram uh, single cavity this is single cavity transfer molding in this diagram you can clearly see here uh here this is two cavity or you can say that this is multi cavity okay this is the sprue same uh, concept will be followed and generally this transfer molding process is used for thermo setting materials okay you can either go for single cavity transfer molding process or you can choose multi cavity transfer molding process according to the need of the production rate you can go for a uh, the suitable process Okay, then this process has uh, certain advantages. Uh, okay, that advantage will be like this: this uh, pro- this is very fast process, and its cost is very less. And then complicated shapes can be easily manufactured. Multiple cavities can be used, hence it will increase the uh, rate of production. Uh, then you can say that the no flash will be there, means attachment of extra material on the uh, final product or molded part. then lower cost and due to the simpler pot design pot design is simple then the production uh, cycle uh, is a very it will take very less time the uniform thickness will be obtained dimensional accuracy is very high then the production rate is also very high then maintenance cost is very low what is the disadvantage okay here we can manufacture the complex shaped or intricate shaped components but it will result in the increase of the mold cost and its maintenance cost okay now uh, this uh, sprue we are using here sometimes you can use this sprue or you can use the gate runner arrangement 
okay now due to this sprue i will explain it uh, in the next slide due to this sprue some extra material uh, get attached to after the final stage is finished some extra material will remains with this sprue okay i will explain it now only ah, yes after just try to concentrate here this is your plunger uh, after uh, the curing time is finished uh, when you remove this uh, press or plunger here on this plunger uh, due to this sprue this is the sprue some extra material will get attached to this sprue due to this sprue some extra material will get attached to this plunger it is termed as the cull the okay, formation of the cull and, uh, and due to this wastage this is waste material and you cannot do the recycling of this process okay hence some wastage of material may occur in this process okay this is the formation of cull okay and then uh, the, that is uh, also mentioned i have told you that scrap cannot be recycled or reprocessed okay now sometimes uh, nowadays you can use the um, you can say that uh, the automation but uh, whenever larger possible times uh, for loading that uh, raw material manually it will uh, become the cumbersome operation or it will become little hectic then air can get trapped in the mold high amount of pressure is required and the production rate is higher but as compared to the injection molding it is little bit on the lower side okay, so these are some disadvantages uh, some applications uh, are here it can be used with this transfer molding in the natural gas industry electrical industry hydraulic industry and then uh, i will directly explain a few practical examples wind turbine blades okay this wind turbine blades can be manufactured with this process of transfer molding process then uh, bathroom fixtures the type of uh, plastic fixtures are there these are made from the transfer molding process only then aircraft parts boat hulls this wind turbine blades then different helmets then these types of fixtures aerospace and automobile parts this can be manufactured with the transfer molding process now we will move towards uh, the next part that is classification of the transfer molding process now this transfer molding process uh, processes are classified in two types okay pot type uh, transfer molding and plunger type transfer molding process okay in this way is classification this is the classification of the transfer molding process basically it is trans uh, has classified in two types pot type transfer molding process and plunger type transfer molding process now on which basis this uh, classification is done now as we have discussed this uh, this is the basic diagram now when this raw material or charge is transferred to uh, the through the vertical channels okay through the vertical channels like sprue then uh, this uh, transfer molding process is termed as the pot type transfer molding process okay when the charge or preform is transferred from the transfer port or shooting cylinder into the mold cavity through vertical channels like sprue then it is termed as pot type transfer molding process and when this transfer okay transfer of this charge uh, to the mold cavity from transfer port to the mold cavity is done uh, with the help of lateral channels lateral or horizontal you can say that horizontal channels like gate and runners horizontal channel when transfer takes place in horizontal or lateral channel through that horizontal or lateral channels then it will be termed as plunger type transfer molding process okay i will show you these diagrams okay this is pot type transfer molding process means from this transfer port this charge or uh, preform is transferred into this mold cavity through the vertical channel like sprue then this is pot type transfer molding process and when this charge or preform transfer or this charge or preform from this uh, 
transfer pot or shooting cylinder into the mold cavity will take place through uh, horizontal channels or lateral channels okay these are horizontal channels these are horizontal channels here you can see these are the horizontal channels they it may be gate or runners into the cavities this will be plunger type transfer molding process okay now again this plunger type transfer molding process okay now you have understood this this classification is done on uh, the basis of direction of the transfer of charge or preform from uh, transfer pot to the cavity when it is done through vertical channels it is termed as pot type transfer molding and when it is done through horizontal or lateral channels it is termed as plunger type transfer molding process now this plunger type transfer molding process is classified in two types uh, top plunger transfer molding process and bottom plunger transfer molding process depending on the movement of the plunger okay now this classification is done on the basis of the uh, movement of the plunger when movement of the plunger is from uh, top to the uh, down direction means in the downward direction when movement of the plunger is in downward direction in downward direction then it is termed as top plunger transfer molding process and when movement of the plunger is uh, in upward direction means plunger moves from bottom to the top then that type of uh, transfer mold plunger transfer molding process is termed as bottom plunger transfer okay the basic classification is done uh, depending on the movement of the charge from tra transfer pot to the uh, cavity when it is uh, through the vertical channels it is pot type transfer molding process when it is through horizontal channels or lateral channels it is plunger type transfer molding process and when in the plunger type transfer molding process uh, the transfer occurs due to the downward movement of the plunger it is termed as top plunger transfer molding process and when uh, the transfer of the uh, charge occurs due to the upward movement of the plunger then it is termed as the bottom plunger transfer molding process okay so this is the brief classification of this transfer molding process only this uh, directions we will be varying remaining stages or remaining procedure will be same as that of the transfer molding process okay in pot type in plunger type or in top plunger and in bottom plunger only the transferring channels will get changed and the direction of the plunger will get changed okay remaining principle uh, is same as that of the transfer molding process now we will discuss this all types in brief with the help of sketches or diagrams uh, before that we will discuss the mold okay mold used for the transfer molding process and its basic parts along with their functions okay now so this is the uh, diagram you can see that these are the molds this is the mold used you can see this total it will form the mold you can say that now this total overall mold used for transfer molding process uh, it consists of uh, following seven main parts you can say that uh, the first part is transfer pot okay this is your transfer pot or it is also known as the shooting cylinder this is the transfer pot or shooting cylinder okay this transfer pot or shooting cylinder it may be of a rectangular shape square shape or uh, a rounded shape rounded or cylindrical shape uh, then basically a rounded shape or cylindrical shape is uh, used okay uh, as far as it is possible we are going for the round shape uh, this plunger also it may be of a rectangular square or cylindrical shape uh, basically we are using the cylindrical or rounded shape okay uh, plunger also this is the second part that is the plunger now this plunger will apply the pressure on this charge or preform and it will transfer it from this transfer pot to the actual mold cavity then third part of the transfer mold is the heating system okay this is the our heaters these circular spots it will indicate the heaters now for doing the heating 
we can use uh, different mediums you can go for a electrical medium or you can go for the oil or steel medium with help of that we are going to provide the required heating okay mold is heated that required heating is given through the with the help of this heaters then the next uh, part of the, our mold transfer mold is the gating system okay now this gating system uh, the function of this gating system is they transfer the charge or preform uh, from transfer pot to the mold cavity okay this from this transfer pot this uh, charge or raw material is transferred into this mold cavity and this is termed as the gating system here the gating system may consist of sprue or it may consist of uh, uh, gate and runner or it may consist of sprue uh, runners and gates okay any combination you can use uh, generally we are either using sprues or we are uh, going for gate and runners okay depending on that channel only this uh, transfer molding process is classified in pot type and plunger type when only sprue is used it is pot type and when gates and runners like horizontal channels are used then it is uh, termed as a plunger type transfer molding process okay so the gating system function of this gating system is to transfer that a charge or preform uh, in the liquid stage or in semi solid stage into the mold cavity then this next is the cooling system now this cooling system the function uh, here itself in this uh, mold we are going to provide the uh, some cooling channels will be provided here now function of this cooling system uh, is to extract the heat and uh, to lower the temperature of the mold okay so that that the material will get cured okay material will get cured or it will get solidified and it will occupy the uh, shape of that uh, mold cavity provided okay and the next uh, is the mold cavity okay this part this is the mold cavity this is the next uh, important part of this transfer mold that is the mold cavity and the function of the mold cavity here to get the desired shape and size of our final uh, final product or molded part that mold cavity will play the very important role then the last and the very important part is ejector mechanism okay this ejector mechanism will consists of this ejector pins okay ejector pins and function of this ejector pin is when you open the mold after curing here um, we are this is the closed mold and after curing we are going to open this mold then after opening it uh, with the help of this ejector pins safely we are removing the molded part from that uh, mold and we are obtaining the final product so this is the function of this ejector mechanism easy removal or easy and safe removal of the uh, molded part from the mold after opening the mold um, when that curing is finished so uh, these are seven important or main parts present in the transfer mold okay this is the design for the transfer mold and its main parts and its function okay we have discussed a transfer pot or shooting cylinder then plunger heating system gating system cooling system then mold cavity and ejector mechanism these are the main parts of this uh, transfer pot then we will move towards that classification part of this transfer molding process now this is the first class first type of transfer molding process pot type transfer molding process okay now already we have discussed the uh, in stages involved in the transfer molding process stages will remain same okay some parts will get changed that i will explain with the help of this diagram this is the first type that is pot type transfer molding process now here you can see clearly in the this mold will consists of a transfer pot and then here and this is the transfer arm you can say that or press or plunger you can say transfer arm or press then this is the cavity this is through this is charge or preform and this is these are the ejector pins 
this is the lower half of the mold and this is upper half of the mold okay now generally in pot type transfer molding process uh, you can say that the three plate mold is used that i will show you on that diagram in the next slide just i will explain now the stages involved in this pot type transfer molding process now in the first stage uh, preheated uh, raw material or uh, you can say that preheated char or preform is uh, taken in this sh uh, shooting cylinder or transfer pot and then uh, in the next stage in this transfer of arm or with the help of this press pressure is applied then simultaneously here this mold is heated here at this spot a uh, heating source will be there or heaters will be there then by using electrical medium or oil or a steam medium we are going to provide the heat to this mold then due to this heat and pressure applied uh, or through this press what will happen this charge it will get um, you can say that transferred from solid state to the liquid state and it will or semi solid state and it will get transferred through this sprue into the cavity okay, through this vertical channel it will get transferred from this pot <coughs> transfer pot into the cavities then in this uh, second stage you can say that this mold is closed mold is in closed <laughs> position then here the curing will occur okay curing will occur means this uh, thermosetting material will get solidified and it will acquire the shape of this cavity and then <clears throat> sorry and then in the next stage after providing sufficient curing time and this mold is opened the press is removed and then the upper half of the mold is removed and the lower half of the from the lower half of the mold with the help of this ejector pins or knockout pins by raising them the molded part is removed now generally or basically in this pot type transfer molding three plate mold is used okay you can clearly see here in the one plate your press will be there press or plunger will be there in the second plate upper half of the mold with the this uh, you can say that transfer pot and screw arrangement will be there and in the third plate the ejector pins will be placed ejector pin and cavity will be placed here in this way the pot type transfer molding process at the generally we are using three plate mold okay and finally we'll get this uh, molded part final product and on this press or that plunger some material will remain okay yes, some material will remain this is termed as the cull okay and it will acquire the shape of that sprue this is termed as the cull and in this pot type transfer molding process the wastage of the material is more and this material cannot be recycled okay this is a pot type transfer molding process and we, we will move towards next concept that is plunger type transfer molding process please draw the diagram i will wait for one minute here okay now this is the plunger type transfer molding process now here the basic difference i will highlight it first the transfer of that uh, pre preform or charge from this uh, transfer pot this is the transfer pot into this cavity will occur through the horizontal channels or lateral channels okay hence it is termed as plunger type transfer mold in this transfer will take place through vertical channels 
this transfer will take place through horizontal channels remaining process will be uh, generally remaining process is same notice another difference this is the first difference the second difference here generally we are using the three plate mold on one plate press or plunger will be there and on the second plate transfer pot and uh, the gating system will be there consisting of sprue and uh, in the third plate these are ejector pin arrangement will be there here generally it consists of only two plates okay two plate mold is used here okay on this one plate only on this top plate only this uh, transfer pot runner and uh, gate arrangement along with that press will be there okay all these will be on a single plate so i will explain these uh, stages involved in this plunger type transfer molding process yeah, wait for one minute please draw the diagram okay uh, now i will explain the stages involved in this plunger type transfer molding process uh, so in the first stage the charge or preform that is your preheated raw material is taken in this shooting cylinder or transfer pot then with the help of this plunger the pressure is applied and this simultaneously this mold is heated with the help of the heaters using suitable medium and then due to the pressure and due to the heat this uh, charge will get uh, semi solidified or it will get transformed in the liquid stage and it will get transferred into the cavities through this uh, gate and runner arrangement and uh, when and mold will kept in the closed position only uh, and provided sufficient curing time after sufficient curing time that the material will get solidified and it will acquire the shape of that mold cavity and after that this mold is opened and with the help of the ejector pins or this knockout pins the molded part is removed okay this is small type uh, here small amount of curl is also found here okay small amount of curl is formed and this is uh, removed Uh, by performing some other machining operations and final molded part is obtained here in this plunger type transfer molding process the sprue is eliminated sprue is eliminated here gate and runner system is used hence in this plunger type transfer molding process the wastage of the material is in uh, little small amount in scrap will be less wastage of the material is less scrap will, will be also no less and the machining operations final machining operations required you have to perform very minimum operations here as compared to the pot type transfer molding process okay so this is the plunger type transfer molding process and its comparison with the pot type transfer molding process and now now this is the diagram here i have collected the uh, means shown here In this diagram, both types in single diagram here. Okay, now you can clearly see here. Uh, this I will explain the differences between this. Now, in the pot uh, type transfer molding process, transfer of uh, charge from this transfer pot to the cavities will take place through vertical channels. In plunger type transfer molding process, transfer of this charge. through this transfer pot into the cavities will take place through horizontal channels like gate and runner okay this is uh, the basic difference then after this another difference is okay uh, related to the uh, means mold used number of plates here generally uh, in the pot type transfer molding process three plate mold is used and in this plunger type two plate mold is uh, used okay press is the okay here this is the press and the uh, third is amount of curl produced is on the higher side in this pot type here curl produced in this smaller amount and the uh, wastage and scrap will be more in pot type transfer molding process and wastage of scrap wastage or scrap you can say that is uh, in smaller quantity 
and the machining required uh, here you have to remove this material okay and here you have to remove this material here machining you have to perform here on the molded parts okay so this is the basic working diagram principles of pot type and plunger type transfer molding process and basic differences present in between these two types of transfer molding process okay so these are some diagrams showing the pot type transfer molding process only okay this is the initial stage this is a preform okay this is the plunger then it is in the next stage this is your sprue okay this is sprue get runner arrangement and it will enter into the through this vertical channel it will get transferred into this cavities okay this is the plunger type this is the pot transfer pot and through the horizontal channels this uh, charge will get transformed into the cavities this is plunger type transfer molding process okay this is pot type vertical channels it will get transferred in this through horizontal channels it will get transferred okay now this is a in the closed condition pot type transfer molding process in closed condition okay this is the closed condition plunger is in placed position material will pass through this sprue and get runner arrangement sometimes uh, only sprue can be used sometimes you can go for sprue with gate and runner arrangement okay it will be considered as pot type only okay here in this way material is transferred from the transfer pot through the sprue gate runner arrangement into this mold mold cavity this is fully closed condition then this is a uh, open plunger open condition okay then this material will get attached here this is the formation of cull then in the final stage fully open condition this is partial open condition you can say that and after this you have to remove this molded part and molded part is removed in this way second plate is removed and with the help of ejector pins this part is removed in this pot type transfer molding process or this mold consists of three plates first plate second plate and this is the third plate okay now we will move, we have discussed this now here uh, the two types of plunger i will explain now here with the help of this diagram only okay in the plunger type transfer molding process uh, the transfer of this charge from transfer uh, this transfer pot into the cavities uh, when uh, the plunger movement is from in the downward direction sometimes some arrangements are used in such a way that uh, this movement of the plunger is in upward direction when movement of the plunger is in downward direction it is termed as okay it is termed as top transfer plunger uh, okay top transfer plunger okay. type these two types i have explained here top plunger this is the top plunger transfer molding process means plunger uh, this transfer will occur and the movement of the plunger will be in downward direction and in this bottom plunger transfer molding process movement of plunger will be in upward direction it will be in upward direction only this you have to remember here you can uh, no specific diagrams uh, are there means that okay uh, as far as your syllabus is concerned only this uh, diagrams are there i search many books uh, i will i was able to find these diagrams only okay so you can draw these diagrams and you can explain in sentences that further types of plunger type transfer molding process top plunger transfer molding and bottom plunger transfer molding then the automation used in the transfer molding process now here in the uh, to increase the rate of the production okay to increase the rate of the production and to improve the quality of the final molded part we can use automation in different stages okay in different stages of the transfer molding process we can use the automation now in which stage we can use the automation in the material handling in the material handling 
process we can go for the automation or in the feeding system that char or preheated raw material is uh, fitted in that uh, we are feeding it in the transfer pot or the shooting cylinder for that we can do the automation then uh, in the next stage we are doing the heating mold heating is done for this heating mold heating we can do the mechanism of heating uh, having certain automations okay here we can use electrical cartridge heating or oil or steam heating then in the cooling process when we are doing the mold cooling process there we can use the feedback control system uh, which can be controlled uh, or changes can be done automatically as per the feedbacks these types of automations can be done then for application of the pressure through that plunger application of the pressure through that plunger and to release that pressure we can use uh, do some automations there also and in the ejector mechanisms after the sufficient curing we are ejecting the final molded part where we have, when we open the mold that final molded part is ejected with the help of that ejector pins there we can go for certain automations so in various stages starting from the material handling then feeding heating cooling the application of the pressure uh, and in the last stage that is ejecting of the component in the ejector um, so during that ejecting process also we can do some automation or certain mechanisms can be used okay automations can be done in this transfer molding process okay so uh, for example here some automation is done in this resin type transfer molding process some automations were used okay now this resin type transfer molding process uh, here different automations is used and basically it is used for manufacturing the molded part or manufacturing the components with the help of uh, composite materials okay which consists of plastics which consists of plastics uh, for that this resin type transfer molding process is used okay here you can see that this is the resin is used okay a resin and this is the catalyst okay catalyst one catalyst is added so that it, this process will be triggered or accelerated rate of the process is accelerated and one pump okay mechanism is used with the help of this pump automatically this resin and catalyst will be transferred in this mixing chamber with the help of this pump arrangement okay and in the first stage the fiber preform is uh, loaded here okay in the first stage fiber preform is uh, loaded in that uh, lower half of the mold then in the second stage that resin along with the catalyst is taken uh, in the mixing chamber through the pump and it is injected okay injected through this inlet okay in this preform or over this preform and after that this mold is closed this mold is closed where it is heated with the using suitable heating arrangement and that heating arrangement is also automated here and after providing sufficient cooling time this mold is opened this mold is opened and when this mold is opened automatically uh, with the help of this inlet pins and outlet pins or you can say that these are knockout pins okay this will get that final product or final finished part is ejected from the component okay in this way this is the resin type transfer molding process and generally this is used for manufacturing different types of the com components from uh, composites which consists of the uh, this plastics okay plastic material composite material um, different products from with the help of the composites and which consists of the plastic materials okay here automation is done in the different stages okay this uh, loading of the preform here is automation is used then this uh, resin okay injecting the resin along with the catalyst and here also automation is used then in the heating heating so uh, this mold automation is used and ejecting the final component 
after opening the mold here also automation can be used okay in this way this uh, resign type transfer molding process is done okay in this way in this today's session uh, we have completed this uh, transfer molding part this is the basic diagram so i will take the uh, review of this uh, session in this today's session uh, we have discussed the basic uh, the okay basic working principle of the transfer molding process we have discussed this after that we have discussed the multi cavity transfer molding process concept of this multi cavity transfer molding process then advantages disadvantages and applications of transfer molding processes then classification of transfer molding process in pot type transfer molding process and plunger type transfer molding process depending on the transfer of the char from transfer pot into the mold cavity okay these two types and this plunger type transfer molding process is classified in two types depending on the uh, direction of the movement of the plunger whether it is moving in downward direction Uh, then it will be termed as top plunger transfer molding and if it is moving in upward direction during the transfer of material then it is termed as bottom plunger transfer molding process then the we have discussed the uh, design of the transfer mold this is the design of the transfer mold it's different parts you have to draw this diagram indicate the different parts and mention their functions it consists of transfer pot main parts of like this transfer pot plunger heating system gating system cooling system mold cavity and ejector mechanism okay then these are the working principles for pot type transfer molding process and, and then plunger type transfer molding process then for comparison of pot type and plunger type transfer molding process and then pot type transfer molding process different stages Okay, different stages. Uh, the mold position. This is initial stage. Mold is open. Okay, this is plunger type. Then the pot type, fully closed condition. Then partial open position. Okay, this is plunger open position. You can say that. And this is the fully open position. Here, molded part is separated. Okay, generally it consists of three plate mold. Then automation and transfer mold process. and this time the transfer molding process is the example in which where uh, we have used the automation in the feeding system and heating and in the uh, ejector ejection mechanism we have used the automation so in this way uh, we have completed this uh, transfer molding process then mold used in the transfer molding design of the mold used in the transfer molding process then its classification pot type plunger type then top plunger and bottom plunger transfer molding process and the automation in the transfer molding process so this part is completed here in the next session uh, the last part from this chapter that is the uh, design okay design of the loading chamber or it simply you can say that design of the compression mold in that design of loading chamber design of punch okay and uh, then design of uh, you can say that that flash then land will be there uh, all that part we will discuss with the help of one numerical and one practical session is also there okay one practical session is also there uh, on that uh, design of the compression mold that will be our third practical and that is the last part of theoretical part also and i will take the practical i will repeat it again okay in the next session this chapter will get finished this fifth fifth chapter will be completed in the next session thank you for attending this session uh, based on the transfer molding process thank you very much uh, if you have joined late please mention your roll number in the chat box of the attendance purpose so thank you for attending this session i will stop here thank you